I'm Joel Meskin, Vice President of Community Association Insurance and Risk Management. One of the key questions that we're very often asked is, who is covered under a director's and officer's liability policy? Most of us who watch the news and think about directors and officers, we're thinking about Microsoft or um, one of these other large corporations where you'll have a Bill Gates or Warren Buffett as a director and officer. In our community association world, it's really very different. The key is we're providing coverage for the directors and officers. These are voluntary members of the association who agree to sit on the board. In addition to that, we also provide coverage for employees. And employees is generally a fairly broad definition, including uh, part-time employees, temporary employees, leased employees, and, and seasonal employees in a lot of these associations, specifically in resort areas. And in addition to that, these definitions also include volunteers that may be uh, working for the association to uh, lifeguard at the pool, to work at a Fourth of July event, at a dance that the association puts on, or committee members. You may have a financial committee, an insurance committee, an architectural review committee. And these are also covered under the uh, Board of Directors policy for their alleged uh, potential wrongful acts or challenges to the work that they do. Um, two other areas in who is, in, is covered under the DNO policy that become significant issues are community association managers. This is an issue that you really have to discuss with your community association insurance professional because very often a community association manager may be limited to his or her acts pursuant to a written contract. It may be just contract without the qualification of it necessarily being in writing, which is much broader. Or there may be no specific language at all. In addition, there may be additional exclusions. The one thing to keep in mind, however, is that a community association manager is never covered under a DNO policy when the association itself sues the community manager. And finally, one of the biggest misnomers is that unit owners in an association are not insured under a policy of DNO unless they are in one of the other categories we discussed, such as a volunteer board member, a committee member, or um, a temporary employee. So that is generally who is covered. One of the key things you should always look at in a community association DNO policy is the definition of insured.